I supposed to go back? Or maybe I should just go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey everyone, my name is Jimmy. Welcome back to another indie game. This is another Backrooms game called The Backrooms 1998. It looked pretty cool on itch. I'll leave a link of the game in the description of this video if you want to go give it a shot. And yeah, let's start. First, I want to know how to play the game. So. How to play tape. The Backrooms 1998 is a survival horror game where you have to find clues to unravel the story how you ended up in the Backrooms. Search for supplies, tools, and items to help you escape. This will be an escape room game, so you have to check all the corners and each path closely. You can also find to some tools that can help you in your journey, such as a spray gun in the Backrooms, which can help you to mark your paths on the walls. That's why checking every corner is vital. So that's something that I'll watch out for. Things you may see in the shadows are sometimes not shadows. Who knows what that could be? Monsters? Could be anything. Anything can happen in the back rooms. It's a scary place. So something or someone may be lurking in there with you. Use your stamina only when needed. And tread carefully. Hiding in crawl spaces, under tables, or inside lockers. If you see something unusual, can be a good idea. Wow, that's all good to know. I'm gonna change some graphic settings here, make them the best that they could be. Let's max them out. Uh, shadow distance 50. Yeah, these are fine. We'll, we'll keep them. Okay, let's see what the controls are. Move, WASD, standard, crouch, left control, run, left. Use E, exam, Q. Okay. Makes sense. Play tape. Plus any key. Play tape. Nice one, Drake. Look at these fools trying to skate. <laughs> Come on, man. Do something cool. This is bringing back so much. famous, right? <laughs> it, it, it's a vibe from the 90s. Oh, yeah, and Drake. Just, you could just tell. Woohoo! Video. I miss the 90s. Early 2000s. Were simpler. Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> uh, my head. I don't what know how this? I got here. I was just skateboarding, having fun. And I, I ended up in this nightmare. This looks really cool. I really like the style Hello? they have here. A game made by Steel. Oh, I couldn't read it. Steel Kill Studio, I think. This could come in handy. Cool. Examine system here. You have found. Press 1 to use the flashlight. Flashlight requires batteries to operate. Okay. So. I need to spare my battery usage. Nothing in here, it looks like. Oh, wait. What is this? Read. I made new friends. His name, I think, was Lee or Liam. Don't remember. 
I am playing at his house, but it's cold down here in the basement. I wonder when let me go home. Hmm. Oh, this is sound sensitive, too. That's really cool. Never played a sound sensitive game. So if I speak louder, it can you can see that the bars go up. Ew. Guys, you think this is funny? Door is jammed. Remove the barricades blocking the door in order to open. Just use our your strength here. If only. Need a crowbar or something to get that open. We'll shift the run, running for a long period of time. Anyone around? Okay, so I need to walk most of the time. Something chases me, I suppose. And this is what we need. I'd be so scared if I just ended up in this place. Dirty footprints leave a trail. This can be used as an advantage. Oh, I see. So if I get lost, I can just follow my footsteps back to where I came from. So if I'm hiding, I can hide from a monster or whatever lies in the back rooms. Who knows with the back rooms? This is a mysterious place. Door's locked and needs a key in order to open. Alright. Find that key. I've seen a lot of back Hello? rooms footage on YouTube. And this looks very similar to it. So they did a really good job that. Or you can even see my shadow. Did a good job with the details. What is that? Something's coming. Maybe not. Oh, it's just the radio. All right. You no, know, you never know what the back rooms. See what this says. Little Thomas, when he was younger, with his favorite jacket after eating lunch, so happy. Love you, X. Anything of use? Any keys? I can examine this. Is something on here that I need? Right click to rotate. Uh, here we go. Uh, I think I need to put the battery in here. Right? Okay. 
I'll go this way then. Whoa. Hello? Guys, this isn't funny. Yeah, this isn't funny anymore. Stop pranking me. You can open your inventory by pressing tab. Or crowbar, battery, flashlight. I guess the battery is for the flashlight. Then. Yes. I run out. Range fetus doll. The heck. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Um, should I go closer hello? to it? I don't know. Stir. Oh, is that a mannequin? It's a mannequin. I thought that was some monster. So many of them. I don't like mannequins. I don't like them. But, you hear that? I'm scared. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, what? You got some large arms there. Well. Don't see that every day. Okay. This should help, then. I bet this thing is gonna be gone. Oh, what? Uh, it's gone. Of course. Oh! Hey. Giving me chills. Oh no. I ride the bike. Oh, hello. I don't like this. He was last seen walking on his way home when he was most likely kidnapped. His parents made a public plea to the killer to release their son, saying they just wanted him home safely so they can cook him his favorite meal, spicy fried chicken. Little Thomas's body was found two days later near the local forest. He was found wearing his favorite yellow jacket and jeans, the same clothes he had been wearing at the time of the kidnapping. However, both of his arms and his head had been detached from his body. It is said that little Thomas was most likely kidnapped and tortured. His severed head was found near his body, while his arms were found some distance away. An autopsy revealed that he was knocked unconscious with a blunt object, such as a hammer, it is also believed that little Thomas may have been alive when his arms were severed, which could explain why his arms were found further from his body. 
When Thomas most likely ran around hornless for a few minutes, calling out for his parents to rescue him to no avail. Until he passed out from the loss of blood. That is the point when the killers caught up to him and chopped off his head. The autopsy also revealed that his last meal had been spicy fried chicken. Almost a week had passed since the shocking, gruesome discovery of little Thomas. He that was is last brutal. Seen walking on his way home. It just fell over by itself. In the floor. Something's gonna be behind this door. Something bad is gonna pop out. I feel it. Okay. Just need to make sure. Do I use the flashlight again? Oh, right. Inventory. I miss you. I miss you. Don't make a sound. It can hear, but no eyes. What the hell is this? Ray paint game gun. <laughs> uh, okay. I wonder what I'm gonna use that for. Don't run, Roy. I don't know what that says. Two. Wait. Don't run. Two. Why don't? Don't play, don't breathe, okay, don't, something R, uh, close doors or it will notice, mark your path, watch for footprints, flash blood, hide, arrow can guide you. Okay, so those are the rules for whatever I'm going to experience here. Whatever monster lurks in the darkness of the back rooms. I need to remember this. What the hell? Door's locked from the other side and cannot be open. Alright, well, this is the only place I can go. Sure, I'm not. It's 
stepping on that stuff, although I'm just gonna hear it. RNT to peak left and right. Look around corners now. What was that? Guys, you think this is funny? They're real funny, guys. Okay. Coast is clear. Drake, Liam, I see anyone? You. the hell I need to make sure I'm checking every corner because I don't know what's going to be around it's going to be very thorough What is that? He's got no arms, no head. What is going on here? Something's sneaking around here. All right, fun's over, guys. It's fucked up. Cameras can come out now. You know, pranks over. Isn't fun anymore. Same. This can't be real. The suspense is real in this game. I feel like anything's gonna just pop out at me at any moment now. arrow pointing this way, so... Wait a minute. This is back where it came from. Am I supposed to go back? Or 
maybe I should just go. Oh, 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 oh. I look like a giant spider. Oh. Heart's racer. This place is fucked up. I need to get out of here right now. Baby crying. Hello? But why? What do you mean why? Why what? Picked up door key. Why is this baby crying? That's my question. Why am I in the back rooms? Why am I here? This is a nightmare. Jeez, that's a lot of just need a moment to process that. This is a disturbing horror game. Yes. Very much is. That was really scary. The suspense was built up so good throughout the whole game. Everything from the little things like the People popping out of the corners for a second and going back. And the mannequins and the, the sounds and... It was really intense. I didn't know what to expect. It was just really dark and ominous. And that's just what made it really eerie. The atmosphere was amazing. This was amazing. For the demo, I'm sure the full game is just as amazing. And I have to give credit to the developers. They did a really good job making this. They really understand horror. And they know how to scare you. They know how to build up the suspense. They know how to use jump scares. They know how to use the sounds and all these different aspects to scare the player. And that was very well done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I recommend going and checking out this game yourself. The Backrooms 1998, I'll leave a link of the game in the description of this video if you wanna go give it a shot. I hope to play more games like this in the future, more Backrooms games, they're really fun. And yeah, so if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.